A lot of folks have asked me how I managed to get the various character images on my head sails. It's not hard, but it is somewhat involved. Anyway, here's how to do it. Now, this process is the one that I use for my hammerhead shark on the Astus 16.5. It'll work for just about any head sail, as long as you're willing to put in the time. I start by creating a design on a small scale. Something that will fit on your computer screen and that you can knock out on, say, a 8 by 11 inch sheet of paper from your uh, inkjet printer. From there, I upscale it to match the size that will best fit the sail. Then I print out whatever the largest size paper that the printer will handle, along with some means of alignment, so that I can match everything up in a full size, one to one scale afterwards. Once you've got all the sheets taped together and in proper alignment, just use a pair of scissors to cut along the outline. This will provide you with the template of your design. From here, you'll set the template on your sail, taking great pains to orient the template so that the design will appear at the correct angle or orientation when the sail is actually being used. It can be helpful to get your boat on the water and have someone take a photo of the head sail in use so that you can be certain that your design will be oriented exactly as you want it. Now comes the hardest part. Set the template on the sail, oriented as you desire, and with nerves of steel or a few beers, begin tracing an outline of the template. In retrospect, I think it might be better to actually use the cutout of the design for the template so that you can't slip and mark outside the template, which can be an absolute disaster. Now the coloring of the interior begins. This is very time consuming and you may have difficulty in finding enough permanent markers to get the job done. Scouring both our local Walmart stores, I was only able to score about a dozen Sharpie wide tip markers per day. And you do want the wide tip markers. It'll cut down on the amount of time and work you have to do. Fortunately, they restocked nearly every day and each time with a larger number of markers. I guess I sprang their computer inventory logarithms as by the time I was finished, they were keeping upwards of four dozen in stock per store. So now it's just coloring inside the lines. This design was placed on a head sail of roughly 230 square feet and required about 60 markers and about the same number of beers. Because the sail material where the design was placed was white, the design shows through on the back side, so I didn't have to duplicate it on the other side of the sail. I have done some sails in darker colors and they will require a redo on the back side. In that case, double the time required, double the number of markers, and double the beer. So there you have it. Most of the sails I've done have been sailed hard, they've held up well, and the designs have not faded to any noticeable extent. I also want to mention that the content of Sharpie brand permanent markers doesn't appear to cause any damage to the sail material, and I certainly haven't found any damage on my sails. But you may want to test things on your sale material just to make sure. There you go. Good luck.